Thank you, sister, for those very, very kind words. Uh, I, I greatly appreciate it. Um, I am pretty excited tonight. I have my mom in the crowd, which I don't get to speak in front of often. So uh, I always love uh, telling my story and bits of my story uh, while she's here. Um, but I really quickly want to acknowledge, do we have any Cattle Parish School Board members in the room? Okay. All right. Well, and Mr. Burton, thank you for the kind words as well and for representing the superintendent. Um, I'd like to just congratulate them on the work that they've done this school year, and I'm happy to be here tonight. Uh, let me start by recognizing all the moms in the room. Uh, it's so fitting that this event falls on the week of Mother's Day. Can the moms in the room just wave? Just, just put your hands in the air. I don't need you to stand there. Okay. Good, good, good. Er, early happy Mother's Day to you. Sorry, fellas, it is not your night. <laughs> it's not going to be your next couple days, so just, just get used to it. Uh, mothers are the rock upon which we build our lives, and they shoulder that burden so lovingly. They carry out the hard work of motherhood with patience, grace, and kindness. Let's take a moment and show them our appreciation by giving them a big round of applause. Also, Teachers Appreciation Week, and I'm not going to let my sister outdo me. My favorite teacher in the whole wide world, my kindergarten teacher, is here tonight. This is Dennis, and so, hey, this is Dennis. Right, there is no more, there is no profession more integral to the progress of our society than teaching. Uh, and teachers don't do it to get rich. They do it because they believe in our children and want a better future for them. So thank you, teachers. We really appreciate that. <clears throat> um, please join me in giving them a, oh, we already did that. Sorry about that. I'm having some technical difficulties. Uh, finally, I want to thank Mrs. Rosalind Bryant for inviting me to speak tonight. I appreciate it. Thank you for having me. Uh, and I'm excited to be here to celebrate our future and the role that you as parents, grandparents, guardians play in that future. We can invest more money in our schools, we can raise standards for our teachers and students, but if your parents aren't engaged, it's all for nothing. Parents are the ones who keep students on track. You make them turn off the TV and pick up a book. You see to it that they understand their lessons and complete their homework and don't spend every waking hour playing video games. We all know that a lot of children will choose TV and video games over homework. Keeping a child focused can be a full-time job, and being a parent is a full-time job. I know because me and my brothers were raised by a single mother, and believe me, we did not make it easy for her, especially my middle brother. <laughs> my mom worked multiple jobs to make ends meet, and somehow she managed to earn a bachelor's degree. Along the way, she also made sure that my brothers and I were doing well in school. I've had so some great teachers in my lifetime, but none of them had a bigger impact on me than my mother. I am where I am today because of her commitment to my education and because of the example she set. Children follow in their parents' footsteps. When the parents value education, so does the child. When the child values education, they graduate from high school and go to college or vocational school, acquiring skills needed to be successful. This is the way of progress. As Mrs. Bryant likes to say, when a kid graduates, it's not only the kid and their family that wins, the whole community wins. The progress of our community hinges on education, and education starts at home. The parents, grandparents, or guardian is the child's first teacher. We are here tonight to honor you because you go above and beyond. You do everything in your power to be the best teachers you can be. Title I schools have large concentrations of low-income students that face additional challenges. These schools do receive funds that supplement their curriculum, but it is the family that makes the largest difference. Take Mrs. Jana Hartman, for example. Like my grandmother, she is a custodian at Northside Elementary and proud grandmother of 10 grandchildren. She goes to every Title I program, she gets every bit of instructional material, and she sits down with her grandkids to make sure they understand their lesson plans. And because her, their grades are improving, and her four-year-old 
grand granddaughter can count to 200. <laughs> <laughs> And she also helps teach other kids how to read. So this is a very impressive four-year-old. And Mrs. Harmon doesn't stop with her own grandkids. She also invites the neighborhood kids over to her house to learn. She calls it Yana's Boot Camp. <laughs> Mrs. Harmon is a, sorry. Mrs. Harmon is a perfect example of parental engagement. School districts and socioeconomic status are not the only indicators of success <coughs> Key indicators that also include family and is measured by quality, not quantity. Love and support matter more than whether it is a single or two parent household. Simply put, when children are raised in a loving home that encourages them to learn and meet their educational goals, their performance improves. Some of you have expanded your family to include your child's classmates. You tutor large groups and volunteer your time to help teachers with day-to-day -day activities, which allows the teachers to invest more time in their classroom. This makes a huge difference. Because of you, our Title I schools are improving. Booker T. Washington, who we just heard from their beautiful choir, has improved from a D to a C school this year. <laughs> Southwood and Judson are B schools. And these are just a few examples of the schools improving all throughout Caddo Parish. This is a result of a lot of hard work by a lot of people. It really does take a village to raise a child. We are thankful to our superintendent and our school board and teachers and our administrators, but it starts at home. So we are especially grateful for you. We are grateful to you, the moms and dads and grandparents and mentors that make incredible sacrifices to ensure that our children are getting the education they need to be successful. They are our future, but you, you all, are our present. And thanks to you, our future is looking very, very bright this evening. Thank you. Mrs. Johnna, can I have you come forward really quick? Now I'm about to bring up the real superstar. I have a, I have a gift for you. <laughs>